Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. Today we are going to use this food plant silicone spray as a bed adhesive. I found it in the warehouse and was just curious whether or not we can use it. I'm thinking if it dries up, it could work like hairspray, but what we found out from that experiment is that hairspray is a bit finicky, so I'm not sure if this will work either. But I guess we can see for ourselves soon. We'll spray this onto the glass bed directly, and then we'll wait for it to dry. Once it has completely dry, we can start testing it. We'll just start off with something simple, so let's just print a test print. Hmm, so far it is sticking to her glass print surface. Although it didn't stick very well closer to the front. Let's just let it keep printing and see how it goes. We got through the second layer with no problems. I guess it's working. Wait, never mind. I spoke too soon. I walked away for a bit and it came off the bed. Let's try one more time. The second time is also having the same problems at the same place. Here's a top down view on how it looks like. Hmm, as soon as we got to the third layer of the print, it started to lift and peel on the corners and it just all came off. I guess food plant silicone spray just doesn't work then. Well there we have it, we tried using food plant silicone spray as a bed adhesive and it just doesn't work. I thought it would work like hairspray but it looks like we are having worse results than the hairsprays we tried. I guess we'll have to keep looking for a better alternative. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering U. It's a great platform to explore about 3D printing. We have a lot of free teaching resources and challenges that can help you with bringing 3D printing into your classroom. That's the end of our experiment today. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.